feel like Netflix is shooting themselves in the foot with this. Okay, you think that's going to damage uh, WWE before they even show up? How could it not? I mean, listen, you and I have had this conversation. Yeah. I feel like the diehards like you and I are going to watch this because, dude, we love the backstage stuff. All wrestling fans yeah. love this stuff. It's not going to deter us from watching Raw or SmackDown or any of the WWE product because we've been going through this for years. Maybe not to this level, mm. uh, but, I mean, this is a whole new level of shit, but <laughs> I don't see this being a good thing for the casual fan. Because a lot of people are going to see, oh, look, Netflix is starting to do a lot more of these live shows. You've had comedy specials. You've had other things going on there, like the roast of Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. You know, Now, this is going to be a weekly episodic show on their program. People are going to see this documentary before mm -hmm. Raw comes on. And people are going to be like, why would I watch this? <laughs> After seeing all this, in the culture we live today, you're going to sit here and tell me with a straight face, you don't think that this could turn off the casual viewer from wanting to watch this on Netflix on a weekly basis. Why the f***, if you're Netflix, would you air this? You think it's almost like they're just stepping on their own investment, right? Yes. Like it's pretty much like, oh, we bought WWE, but hey, f we're just going to show Yeah, this. what it's the f*** are we doing? <laughs> yeah, so it is it is an interesting dynamic, you know? I mean, you're saying, because it could turn away, like, the new viewers when WWE lands in the on there, so it's like... You know, somebody who's just kind of curious, so, oh, there's something live on Netflix now, because this is a new thing, right? Netflix was made for movies, Netflix. It was from internet w w video movies, right? Netflix uh, beat out Blockbuster, and now they're streaming sports. Now they're streaming comedy. Now yeah. they're it's all turning in like they got the Infinity Gauntlet, and they're just putting, like, live events. Yeah. Putting, and it's all coming back to, like, one, ep one thing now. So If you're WWE, are you pissed off that they're actually going to air this? I think it's it sucks because it's one of those things that I don't think they can stop because it's something that they knew that was going to be made, but now that those other the other fan that's like because now they can use all that and maybe into there and it, since they don't have control, I think it's it, it's I don't know it's a double edged thing because it's like I want to see it and I'm still going to watch it, but yeah, you're going to have this negative. The diehards are going to love it, yeah, because that's what the diehards do. Yeah, okay, it is what it is. We, we can sit here until we're blue in the face, but the the argument is always going to be you're turning off the casual viewer who is going to see this before the show actually starts coming to your platform. I, I, I don't see why you would want to turn off people from watching what I'm assuming is going to be their first live weekly episodic show on the platform. You might remember You're also, sabotaging yeah. your first weekly live show because you're going to search wwe on netflix and it's going to be the mcmahon thing and then raw yes. <laughs> it's like oh what's the other one and then you're like why am i watching this all right I, they I should have made a comedy out of this <laughs> do you know what they should have done what's that they should have resurrected the ghost of gilbert godfrey oh my God. for okay. what, 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 what did, did you ever see the video where gilbert godfrey reads oh. 50 shades of gray <laughs> i want gilbert godfrey to read the text messages between janelle grant and vince mcmahon i do <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> like, what do you mean you want to <laughs> <sh> <laughs> on me? Oh like, that could be a no go solid gold hit. I think yes! keep that in the back pocket. We got to find the impersonators of Gilbert Godfrey and do it. Um, no, listen, we have AI. We can do this now. <laughs> that is yes. This is gonna happen. Listen, get get, get on Twitter. Somebody get on Grok Two or whatever the f call that. Yep. And make Gilbert Gottfried read the text messages, the transcripts. We gotta keep kissing up to that chump and his chump daughter. I'm saying Patreon is coming soon, guys. We're gonna be you're gonna be paying for solid gold soon. So. That's correct, and you're gonna have to sign the NDA if you want to get in the group chat. <laughs> that's it. That's uh, that's, you really want to do that? I think it's <laughs> uh, it's pretty good. Uh,